Hi guys, it's Samantha. From constantly running to the bathroom to losing your ability to concentrate, these are signs that your blood sugar might be too high. Number 15, frequent urination. High blood sugar, or hyperglycemia, can often go unnoticed. Not everyone feels the same symptoms, and the ones that they do feel can be subtle. In fact, it's possible that you won't experience any signs whatsoever. So, it's important to pay close attention to these symptoms, and consult your doctor if you observe anything irregular, especially if you've been diagnosed with diabetes. The kidneys regulate your blood sugar levels by filtering your blood and taking in any extra glucose, so they're unable to process it correctly when your sugar levels are too high. Therefore, your kidneys will begin producing more urine, also known as polyuria. Since there is an increase in the amount of urine created, you'll have to go to the restroom more frequently. It's crucial to figure out what's causing this, and if it is hyperglycemia, then you'll need to get it under control not only for your health, but also for your sanity. Nobody likes peeing every half hour. Number 14, thirst. One symptom of high blood sugar is being really thirsty. If you just can't get enough water lately and no matter how much you drink, you're still thirsty, then there's a chance that you have hyperglycemia. Like we discussed before, when your blood sugar spikes, you'll probably experience frequent urination. This is because your body is trying to get rid of excess sugar. Unfortunately, when you continuously drink to try and quench your thirst, you'll find yourself taking even more trips to the restroom because you're producing more urine. So it's a lose-lose situation. You won't be able to get rid of your thirst to prevent yourself from urinating. Therefore, it's best to consult your doctor in this situation and get yourself healthy. Number 13, headaches. This high blood glucose symptom doesn't usually happen until several days after the issue started, so it might not be the first one you notice. However, if you have a history of high blood sugar, then you should probably check your levels if you get a headache. Plus, if your pain starts getting worse instead of better, then the chances are your blood sugar is still rising. Headaches are thought to occur from hyperglycemia because there are also changes in your hormone levels, which can include norepinephrine and epinephrine. This can constrict your brain's blood vessels, which is also known known as vasoconstriction. Since hypoglycemia is capable of damaging your nerves and blood vessels, it's critical to resolve the issue as soon as you can. Number 12, bloating. For those of you suffering from type 1 and 2 diabetes, you might have experienced something called gastroparesis. This condition is the result of damage to your vagus nerve, which is what controls the rate that your stomach empties. This causes digestion to take a lot longer, and you might experience nausea and vomiting. Plus, it has a significant effect on your blood sugar levels. Other symptoms of this condition include heartburn, reflux, quickly feeling full while eating, loss of appetite, and bloating. So if you've noticed any of these signs, then you'll want to keep a close eye on your blood sugar to make sure it doesn't spike. The reason for this is that when the food finally makes its way to your small intestine, your glucose level will increase. And since you ate a long time ago, you won't be expecting it. Therefore, you should make sure you're looking out for the signs of gastroparesis. Number 11, slow healing. Have you noticed recently that your paper cut is taking forever to heal, or you have a bruise that just won't go away? If you've experienced something similar to this, and your wounds seem to be taking extra long to heal, then there's a chance you have hyperglycemia. All of these symptoms go back to one thing, diabetes. That's because the disease makes it very difficult to keep your glucose levels in check. So, when these levels are really high for an extended time, it can cause your healing process to slow down or stop entirely. This is because it hinders your body's white blood cell function. These cells are what works in your immune system to protect you against infectious diseases. Plus, your blood sugar levels affect your circulation. When it becomes slow, your blood can't bring nutrients to your wounds as quickly. Hyperglycemia has an effect on your nerves as well. So, if a diabetes sufferer injures their feet and can't feel it, then they won't get treatment. Therefore, it will become worse and possibly infected. Other ways diabetes affects healing include weakened hormone production, reduction of blood vessel repair and production, decreased production of collagen, and a reduced skin barrier. Number 10, numbness and tingling. Although many of us feel numbness and tingling in our limbs once in a while, Sometimes it can be a sign of hyperglycemia. These symptoms also imply that your blood sugar has been high for quite some time. This is the result of peripheral neuropathy, which affects the nerves that lead to your extremities, your legs, feet, arms, and hands. When the nerves are damaged, it can cause these sensations. Plus, this kind of neuropathy is the most common kind caused by diabetes. There are other symptoms that go along with the numbness and tingling, including pain, burning, muscle weakness, impaired coordination, muscle cramps, and an increase or decrease of sensitivity. Don't forget to subscribe. Number nine, overly hungry. Another thing you might experience if you have high blood sugar is increased hunger. You keep eating, but nothing seems to help. Plus, it's much more extreme than your normal appetite. When you have hyperglycemia from diabetes, your glucose is unable to enter your cells because of insulin resistance or lack of insulin. Therefore, your body can't turn the food you consume into energy. So when you lack energy, you become hungrier. This is called polyphagia. Unfortunately, eating won't make the hungry feeling subside. It will just increase your sugar levels more. One thing that might help 
is exercise, but you still want to talk to your doctor to figure out what's going on and fix the issue. Number 8. Losing weight The lack of insulin that causes you to be hungry also results in weight loss. However, this symptom can point to many different diseases and disorders besides hyperglycemia. So check with your doctor as soon as possible if you're unexplainably losing weight. But it is also a side effect of uncontrolled diabetes and high blood sugar. Since the glucose doesn't get to your body's cells, you're unable to use the sugar as energy. Therefore, you begin burning muscle and fat. Apparently, this unexpected weight loss is usually noticed before people are diagnosed with diabetes. Another thing that adds to this symptom is frequent urination, which we discussed before. The loss of these extra fluids can cause you to weigh less and is often the reason for really fast weight reduction. Number 7. Can't concentrate Your brain requires a lot of glucose to function properly. So, when there is no glucose being absorbed, your mind doesn't get the energy it needs, and it usually takes in about 25% of the total glucose you take in. Since your brain affects just about everything you do, it can cause serious problems if it's not working correctly. You might have trouble thinking, remembering things, reasoning, and staying focused. This is bad for work, school, and your personal life. Plus, it can have consequences if it goes untreated. If you're having trouble concentrating, then make sure you go see your doctor. Number 6. Tired The most common cause of tiredness in people with type 2 diabetes is uncontrolled blood sugar. One source of fatigue is dehydration. We already discussed that this is caused by frequent urination. However, it can also be caused by kidney disease. When you have diabetes for a long time and your glucose levels are uncontrolled, your heart, liver, and kidneys can become damaged, which causes tiredness as well. According to Everyday Health, headaches and fatigue are the most common symptoms of people who don't take care of themselves and treat their diabetes like their doctors tell them to. Number 5. Dry Mouth This is one of the most common symptoms of both types of diabetes. As you probably guessed, dry mouth is the result of a lack of saliva. Your tongue will be dry and rough. You might have pain, your lips will be trapped, you could get an infection, and you could have difficulty talking, chewing, and swallowing. The exact science for why diabetic people exhibit this sign is unknown. However, high blood sugar levels are known to cause it, and medications for diabetes sometimes have this side effect. Number 4. Skin Changes Something else you should pay attention to are changes in your skin. These can be signs of hypoglycemia, and honestly, they're hard not to notice. Some of these changes include skin tags, which are small, protruding pieces of extra skin, and thick, dark patches of soft skin, which generally form on the hands, neck, face, and armpits. But you are also prone to skin infections if you have diabetes and uncontrolled blood sugar. Some of these infections are boils, carbuncles, or deep skin infections, styes, or infections of your eyelid glands, infections around the nails, and folliculitis, or hair follicle infections. These skin changes are much more noticeable because they usually cause pain. The skin will become inflamed, swollen, red, and hot. Plus, people who suffer from this disease are also more at risk for fungal infections. These often show up as itchy, moist, red rashes that are surrounded by scales and blisters. Some common fungal infections are athlete's foot, ringworm, and jock itch. However, diabetic skin problems go even farther than this. One condition is called diabetic dermopathy, which looks like circular or oval scaly light brown patches. The spots don't itch or hurt and usually appear on the front of your legs. Other skin problems include diabetic blisters, eruptive xanthomatosis, pea-like yellow protrusions, digital sclerosis, thick waxy skin, and many more. Make sure you talk to your doctor about any skin changes. Most of these are treatable when you regain control of your blood glucose levels. Number 3. Blurry Vision This is one of the initial warning signs that you might have diabetes. Blurry vision happens when fluid leaks into your eye's lens, thus causing it to swell. When this happens, the shape of the lens changes, making it difficult to focus, and things appear fuzzy. However, blurry vision also occurs after insulin treatment is started because it fluctuates the fluids, but it usually goes away after about a month. Once you get your blood sugar under control, your vision should clear up as well. Number 2. Infection Since hyperglycemia prevents wounds from healing quickly and sometimes at all, the risk of infection is much higher in people with the condition. You can get infections from wounds that aren't healing, but there are other types you're at risk for if you have diabetes and your blood sugar levels aren't under control. We talked about some skin infections already, but there are others you're at risk for, some of which can lead to ulcerations and amputation in serious cases. Plus, you can get gum and teeth infections. It's important to get these taken care of quickly, so if you think you're at risk, then it's crucial to consult your doctor. Number 1. Lowering blood sugar Remember that if you suspect your blood glucose levels are high, you should always consult your doctor as soon as possible to get treatment. There are some ways to help lower your blood sugar naturally. The first way is to exercise on a regular basis. Doing so can help you increase your insulin sensitivity and lose weight, which contributes to diabetic problems. There are tons of exercises to help with this, including
including running, walking, and hiking. Another thing to keep in mind is your carbohydrate intake. Carbs are broken down into sugar and are one of the highest contributing factors to hypoglycemia. Another simple thing you can do is drink more water. Doing this will help keep your blood sugar levels reasonable because it assists your kidneys in flushing out excess glucose through urination. You will also want to avoid sugary drinks because they spike your levels and can cause weight gain. Lastly, you might want to increase the amount of fiber you eat. Fiber is wonderful at slowing down your digestion and the absorption of sugar. Therefore, it causes a more gradual rise in your blood glucose levels. The best type to eat is soluble fiber because it has been proven to lower the sugar. Some of the best foods for this are whole grains, legumes, vegetables, and fruits. Today's featured comment comes from Samuel on a things you didn't know about Katy Perry video. Thanks for your comment, Samuel. Don't forget to leave your thoughts below. I might feature you in a future video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.